today to you, I remain your leadership coach, Amao Baba Jide Samuel. Stay on our talk about money or financial intelligence. Uh, I would like to talk briefly about budgeting today. Now, uh, a lot of people do not understand why it's important to budget, okay? And many people feel that um, uh, budgeting should be done after receiving your income. No, right? Uh, budgeting should be done uh, before you have the access to the raw cash uh, or the money itself. So when you do not budget, you are likely to subject yourself to impulse buying. Okay, you are, you are likely to su su subject yourself to impulse um, consumption as the case might be. And you will not be able to set your priorities right knowing the things that you need, separating them from the things that you want, right? Money is very important. And like we said, uh, we must learn to make it, we must learn to manage it, and we must learn to multiply it. Now, one thing that helps you to um, manage your money effectively is your capacity to budget effectively, all right? And budgeting basically had to do with Preempting your income before it comes and before the money comes, defining in clarity how to spend those money when it comes. And one of the ways that you can help yourself improve your budgeting skill is to make it a point of duty to do what I call your spending inventory. You have to create a culture where you can, on a daily basis, you write down your expenditure. Now, when you do this consecutively for a week, uh, you do this consecutively for a month, you will now be able to categorize those spendings into some key areas like feeding, like communication, like transportation, like clothing. So, once you are able to keep proper record of what you uh, are spending on a daily basis after like one month you can now categorize them under some specific sections and uh, you know you will be able to like determine how much you are spent on communication at the end of the month how much you are spent on transportation at the end of the month how much you are spent on feeding at the end of the month so it helps you to be able to picture out what fraction of your uh, money goes into food, what fraction goes into communication. Now, once you do this at the end of the month, you keep that record, you do the same thing for the second month, you run it again for the third month. By the time you do that recording and analysis for about three months, then you'll be able to just suppose what you spent on communication, for instance, in the first month, how much you spent in the second month, how much you spent in the third month. You do the same thing for the other sections like transportation, like feeding. And once you are able to get this done, you can now sit down and be able to determine what fraction of your spending goes to feeding, what fraction of your spending goes to communication, what fraction goes to data, what fraction goes to, you know, uh, transportation and all like that. Now, once you are able to have a three-month record, then you can now start the process of budgeting, okay? So, you would, budgeting is predetermining how you would spend your money when it comes. So, you'll be able to now, be able to like cut down on some excess spending. Like, you notice that you spend 10% of your money on communication. Now, you ask yourself, all the people I call, is it for business or for luxury, okay? Is it... Okay, I call them every day or every week. So you'll be able to know what spending to reduce in order to be able to create certain slot for savings. Okay, because one of the things that's, that budgeting does is that it helps you to be able to keep certain fraction of whatever money comes into, into your hand into saving. And without saving, you cannot invest. Okay, and it is only investment that helps you to multiply and grow your income. So that is the tip I want to give to you today. It's not complex. You, you can start the process of budgeting 
uh, and it is when you have a budgeted expenditure uh, that you can have full control over your finances. Thank you for being part of uh, my tips today. Uh, see you in the next episode. Thank you.